Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Pick a Pack from Pokemon. Let's get started in the center of the page and draw an oval for the eye. So we're going to start at the very top, work our way around towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now we're going to draw a smaller oval, but we're going to push it over towards the right side. So let's start on the inside edge of the eye and draw in a smaller oval. At the very top here, we're going to draw a small circle for a highlight, so up against the oval. Now that we've drawn in the eye, let's move over to the right side and draw on the edge of the beak. So we're going to start at the very top. We're going to curve in and then curve it back out. Now we're going to take the top and just angle down and out towards the tip of the beak. Now we're going to go to the bottom and angle up towards the tip of the beak. Now we're going to split the beak in half. So right up here at the very top, we're going to curve out towards the left and then back over towards the right. Just to the left of the separation, we're going to curve the top of the head. So we're just going to curve up and then over the eye. And then from here, we're going to change directions, go up towards the tip of the head. So just curve in the opposite direction towards the top. Now we're going to continue this curve down underneath the beak, down towards the chin. So starting down here, we're going to curve down and then directly underneath the eye. Now going back to the top of the head, we're going to curve down the side of the head and we're going to curve this back up towards the eye. Curving out towards the left. Now we're going to round this out towards the bottom. Now we're going to pull this up towards the bottom of the eye. Let's go back up to the top and just add that separation. So from the very top here, we're going to curve down and then in towards the eye, leaving a little bit of space here. Now I'm just going to hook this back up, so tapering it up. From this point, I'm going to curve over the eye and then down towards the inside edge of the beak. Now I'm going to take this curve and just duplicate it on the outside here. So we're going to start on the top of the beak, and curve it up and over towards the left. Now let's finish off the head by taking this point here. We're going to curve around the eye and then up underneath this line. So curving down and then back up. Now we're going to move down and draw on the front wing. So underneath this curve here, we're going to draw a straight line coming down. Now we're going to draw on the back of the wing. From this point, we're going to curve out towards the left and then down. Going back to the top, we're going to curve the inside of the wing. Curving in and then back out towards the left. From here, I'm going to round this out and curve up towards the tip of the wing. Rounding it out and going across and then up. Now from here, I want to curve and tuck this in behind this curve. So there's a little bit of an overlap. From the base of the neck, I'm going to round out the body. So we're going to curve out and then tuck this in underneath the bottom of the wing. Now we're going to tuck the right wing underneath the body. So we're going to line up the top of the wing on the right side. We're going to curve out and then pull that in along the bottom. Now let's add the patch along the top of the chest. So at the bottom of this curve, we're going to go over and then back out towards the left. Now I'm going to curve this back up. So tapering it with a short curve going up. Now I'm going to pull this down towards the bottom, curving over and then down. Now I'm going to taper this back up again with another curve. Now I'm going to pull this in towards the side of the body, curving out and then down. Just behind the wing on the left side, we're going to add the tail. So from this point, we're going to step down, curve up, and then over towards the left. We're going to flatten out the edge of the wing with an angle line coming down. Now we're going to curve in the opposite direction in behind the wing. So we're going to come down and then back up. Now we're going to add the top of the legs underneath the body here. So underneath the wing, we're going to add a half circle coming down and then back up. We're going to leave a small gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. Now underneath the left leg, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down side by side. Now we're going to draw in the talons. From the left side, we're going to hook this over and then down. Now we're going to taper this back in and then down towards the right side. Going up. Now we're just going to pull that down towards the first claw. Now let's taper that back up with a short curve. Now we're going to draw one more talon. Curving over 
and then down. We're gonna connect the bottom of the ankle towards the tip of that claw, going across and then pulling that down. Now we're gonna take this and duplicate it underneath the right leg. So let's start with those two straight lines coming down first. Now from the left side, we're gonna tuck this in behind the front leg, curving across. Now we're gonna step down, curving the bottom of the foot, going across, and then down towards the tip of the first talon. Taper that back up. Now the second claw, we're gonna come down. Now again, connecting the ankle up, down towards the tip of the claw, and that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Pick a Peck from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.